And it's the Hawks to start out. Here's Smith. Healed on the wing. Offensive rebound. Hunter. Good. Activity on the glass. That's a possession that could have gotten away from them. Rose outside. With the teardrop. And he sinks the layup. And hey, that's a hard, hard shot. But Rose can absolutely get it done and close on good defense. Smith. And he throws it down with one hand. Wow. Always fun to see point guards who can elevate above the rim like that. Oh, a strong mindset and even stronger finish. Well, just seeking out weaknesses in the defense and then exploiting it. Here's Heald. Another one falls for Atlanta. Well, Smith looking now to dish to the guys who are wide open. Hardaway, the pass to Pokashevsky. Picked by Pokashevsky. From deep, Rose. Hunter with the rebound. The Hawks have gone three of four. Off to a nice start. Grant, it's fair to say this Magic team is still coming into its own as far as the youth on the roster. Yeah, not a lot of NBA service time up and down the roster, but tons and tons of talent. I mean, they've done very well constructing the roster. Now to develop it, and they'll see the wins pile up. Now here's Hardaway in his last outing with 12 points. Here's Daniels. From down in the low post, it goes. Got to appreciate the consistency. Night in and night out, he brings it. Smith passes to Hunter. Rose grabs the board. You won't see him miss that one too many times. Yeah, that happens. Important thing is for players, just don't beat yourself up and make a miss like that cost you another play. Counted from distance. Rose has got five points. And at the arc, Rose definitely picks his battles. But when he sees his chance, he knocks it down. Here's Hakez. Buries it from about 10 feet away. Good move inside. Finishing through some tough defense. He'll battle you anytime he's around the rim. Here's Rose. Boom! He jams it straight down. Oh, some explosive stuff from Rose right at the rim. Showing these young boys how ferocious he can still be. And the basket by Heel. And we're about three minutes into this first quarter. Heel against Hardaway. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. They'll pin that one on Jonathan Isaac. At the line for Orlando, Benny Hardaway. Two shots. And he drops the first. And the Magic making a change here. Hartenstein's checked in. That one misses, so he goes one for two. For Atlanta, they've got six of eight shots to go. Hawkins, the pass to Heald. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. <laughs> so close on the finish. I mean, it could have been a three-point opportunity. And he knocks down the first one. Bogdan Bogdanovich checked in for Orlando. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. Oh, the teardrop falls in. Daniels has got his second bucket of the night. Always fun to look at. Not tremendously efficient, but the floater, boy, those sure are pretty. Great open look there. Getting out to a nice lead. Great flow and great execution. Bogdanovich up top. Joe's checked in for Hardaway. Second team foul. Coming on to the floor for your magic, number 11, Isaiah Joe. Here's Daniels. And a Daniels. strong finish with two hands. Now that's how you capitalize on a screen. Yeah, good positioning, too. Gave him a clear path to the hoop. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. And showing he's not all brute strength. I mean, great touch and control by Isaac knocking down the jumper. I mean, he can shoot two folks. Now here's Pokashevsky coming in off 12 points in his last outing. And that's what they want to do. 
Get him open looks early. Smith finds Hunter. Fades and shoots. Again, Atlanta. <laughs> they keep trading punches. Both teams in a groove early. Who's going to miss first? Every time one team scores, the other team right back at you. Here's Joe. Uh, he didn't have his feet planted. The Magic making a switch here. Hardaway's checked in. Coming on to the floor for your Magic. Number 10, Benny Hardaway. We've got 108 left in the opening quarter. Bogdanovich from long range. And again, it's Orlando with a three. And Bogdanovich needs very little room. The defense better stay more attached. I like to see the little guys get up, and Dennis Smith Jr. can absolutely do that. Now here's Hardaway. They look to him to score consistently, averaging around 13 and a half a game. Here's Hunter. Got it. Good job in the low post. Hunter's got six. And I love how he's pushing the tempo and creating for others. He does this game in and game out. Incredible. Nice to play with a point guard that takes pride in playmaking. It makes you move around just a little bit faster to get open spots. At the line for the Magic, Daniels. And the first one at the line is good. And so he hits both. There's 31 seconds left now in the first quarter. On the wing, Isaac. Off target from three-point range. Orlando trailing here. Pass to Joe. Here's Daniels. Bad foul. That's not who you want to send to the line. First personal foul. Fifteen foul. At the line for two. Daniel. And he makes a first. It's both from the stripe. There's 14 seconds left to play in the first. Right side, Hunter. On the wing, Isaac. Misses the three. One second left. It's deflected. Buddy Heal has been leading the charge for the Hawks. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. We'll be back in a moment. And welcome back, one and all, for more NBA Christmas Day action. And from what we've seen from the Hawks, what's your take so far? It's simple. When you can protect the rim the way they have, it's a big advantage. Yeah, you can't be careless with your shot selection out there because some of them are getting thrown back. All right, this is how the floor looks for the Hawks starting the second. They've got Jonathan Isaac, and it's Murray in at the two spot. <laughs> and despite the height disadvantage, oh my, he just attacks that interior. Yeah, no stopping him on that play. Sometimes even the taller defenders are helpless to stop him. Woo, hard work creating the second chance opportunity. Outside Carter, fires the three. Hunter with the rebound. Hunter's got a rebound number five here tonight. Shot is good by Isaac. Isaac. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. And the call will be against Jonathan Isaac. That'll be a second foul of the game. That's his second foul, but not the end of the world. One more before halftime, though. That would change some things. And the Magic making a change here. Wagner's checked in. Now here's Bogdanovich. Eight points in his last time out. It's a small piece of real estate on the court, but aside from shots at the rim, the corner three, now the most common shot in the NBA. And arguably the most efficient shot in the game. Obviously dunks and free throws we want most, but 22 feet away instead of 23-9. That half step closer, B.A., is making a difference in the shooting number. That one goes. Count it. Well, the defense allowed that one. He had a clear path to the cup. Crafty move, and the layup is good. And the Hawks lead by eight. 
I mean, his length gives him an advantage over a lot of other point guards in this league. And that makes him three for four. He's looking good. The defense kind of opened up for him, and he took full advantage. Isaac outside. There's the triple. Hey, now five for eight. Shooting a pretty good percentage right now. Seemed to be laying in the weeds there in the first quarter, but now we're seeing him come out, put all the cards on the table, and ramp it up. Everything right except the finish. Have to keep focused all the way through the play. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Brian Magic coach Jamal Mosley talked about the leadership of this team. He said, we're going to do it by committee. Each guy's going to have a voice on a different night. We want to build them up where there's a chemistry and as guys rise and get their voice, they get that feeling of leadership. Brian? Yeah, that's an interesting point. All right, Allie, thank you. Orlando calls timeout. They're coming off that win against the Heat. Yeah, it was relentless play at both ends of the court in that game. They were able to seize control and maintain it. And going back and watching that game, there was not one spot on the floor that they did not own. Rose outside. And that one is stuffed right through. With a strong finish to cut into that lead a little. And left no doubt with that one, Grant. And for the Berlin native, Franz Wagner. His NBA career is off to a terrific start. Yeah, at 6'10", he's extremely versatile. He's already a talented scorer at all three levels. Plus, he's able to put the ball on the floor and create for his teammates. A beautiful setup on the alley-oop. Great catch, great flush. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. Yeah, and the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. Bogdan Bogdanovich checked in for Hardaway. And so it's Rose who brings up the ball for the Orlando Magic. They trail by seven. Victory eluded them last time in Atlanta when they faced the Hawks. Today's game is about effort and energy. They got crushed on the glass the last time these teams played. Well, let's see if the lesson was learned from that loss. If they come out with the same type of effort, they can expect a similar result here. Now here's Rose. He had an 18-point outing in their last game against Miami. Yeah, but all around offensively, the performance was great. He knew when he had it going, but he also knew he could get other guys going. So his passing right up there on the level of his scoring in that one. A savage reverse jam. That takes great body control. No question. He was making a statement right there, man. Bogdanovich passes to Rose. And it's blocked by Isaac. A yeah, great link from Isaac. He gets the hand up, gets a piece, using that big wingspan. All right, guys, what do you think about the hustle stats for Atlanta? Yeah, I love the energy and aggressiveness I've seen from them on defense. They're really getting after it with all these blocks. They've done a great job tonight of getting out in transition. So that focus on fast break, that'll add to your total in a hurry. Orlando's gone 5 of 10 from beyond the three-point line in this game. And the whistle on the shot. Got some contact there. Misses the shot, but he'll shoot two. And Atlanta gets called for the foul. So for the Magic, Bokashevsky's checked in for Carter. And Hardaway subbed in for Bogdanovich. The Hawks leading. Black passes to Murray. Isaac for three. Gets it. He's 6 for 10 and looking confident out there. Flat out taking the game over, and there's no way he's going to give it up. Picked by Pokashevsky. The three is up. Rebound Atlanta. Coming off that win against the Sixers. And in that one, the bench came to play. Gave the team a bunch of points and energy to put them over the top. Well, I talked to the assistant coaching staff. What they were stoked about is that the bench guys came in and played well. So punch off the bench, a big factor in that one. I'll tell you what, they've been aggressive and they've been physical. Ooh, anticipated the pass. It's a turnover. Gets the three to fall. Haquez has got seven. I love it. Just thumbing his nose at the height disadvantage. He's able to get the space he needs and convert. Yeah, defense has got to be a little bit better, especially when he's looking to fire from that distance. Here's Isaac. And the dunk by Isaac. And really nice timing by Isaac on the glass. Winning himself a great second chance look. So we conclude the first half.
Hawks ahead, up 11. We've got more in store for you right after this. Hey folks, happy you joined us. The action tonight, a bit wild and a big deficit now for the Orlando Magic. Well, they aren't getting a hand up on the shooters and the numbers show it, Shaq. Guys are too good in this league to give them easy looks. You're just digging your own grave. Well, excuse me, Jack, giving the tough love. Bravo, bravo. And now something that gets a lot of publicity. Who could be qualifying for the three-point contest? Yeah, this group, elite marksmen, or as they sometimes call, lasers. Uh, we get it, I think. That's it for us. Thanks for tuning in. Now let's send you over to Brian Anderson with the third period. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. It's been quite a game for Jonathan Isaac. Oh, he's been their defensive anchor so far. Stifling shots left and right. Been aggressive to block shots, but also avoiding fouls. That's a, that's a heavy presence inside. They've got Derrick Rose, Franz Wagner out there with Alexei Pokashevsky, and it's Daniels in at the four spot. So that's who Jamal Mosley starts the second half with. Now here's Wagner, pass to Daniels. Rose outside. Picked by Pokashevsky. Rose, the pass to Pokashevsky. Missed inside. Atlanta's gone 7 of 14 from the perimeter in this one. Here's Black, guarded by Rose. Now here's Hunter. He's covered closely. That one goes in. Hunter's got 17. He drops yet another dive. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Tough break for the defense. I mean, he took the hit, but he didn't get the call. Coming out on the floor for the Hawks. Oh, Bamba. Rudy Achimura. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. Pass to Rose. Here's Daniels. Ooh, stolen by Murray. Hunter passes to Achimura. The three from Bamba. Hits a three-pointer. Bamba's got his first three points three. of the game. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Wagner, the pass to Hardaway. Rebounded by the Hawks. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. From downtown, shots wow. good by Black. Black's got his second basket of the game. <laughs> they're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Here's the floater. And Hardaway lays it up and in. Yes, but they won drops after the 0 of 3 start. Bamba, the screen on Rose. Here's Black. Again, Atlanta. They're on fire right now. Shooting 80% to start the second half. Hardaway on the wing. Oh, and that one, no question. Powered it down. Look out below. <laughs> you got no chance of defending him right there. Pokashevsky brings the double team. Mamba, the pass to Black. Hachimura from long range. That shot is off. The Magic have gone 2 of 5 in this third quarter. Rose outside. Pass to Wagner. Outside Hardaway. Just 5 to shoot. Now here's Wagner. The 3 nails it from beyond the arc. Wagner's got 6 points. That's pretty much not how they want to defend the three-point line. Somebody's got a shadow him out there. The Magic have gotten three of six shots to fall so far in the third. Doubled by Achimura. Daniels passes to Wagner. A little under three and a half minutes off the clock now in the third quarter. Misses in close. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. 
Well, before his one season at Duke, Paolo Banquero tattooed the message, no pressure, on his left forearm. He said, quote, there's going to be noise, but at the end of the day, you got to go out there and hoop against five other guys. So it's like, quote, what really is it if it's just basketball? <laughs> That's a good point. No big deal. Thanks, Alec. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Elbow shot on the way. It's held in by Pokashevsky. Well, maybe not the best shot against that kind of defense, but he still has the ability to knock that kind of shot down. And Wagner gets it to go. Another assist in the career of D. Rose. Screen by Bamba. Black passes to Murray. From behind the arc. Knocks down the long J. Murray's got his third basket on the night right there. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. Yeah, my expectations were that he was not going to miss that one. He handles that kind of defense, especially on the inside. Hunter, good. This looks like he's got more feel tonight. Like he's really got a good grip on that ball as he's letting it go. Wow! Always oh, fun to see point guards who can elevate above the rim like that. Oh, a strong mindset and even stronger finish. Well, just seeking out weaknesses in the defense and then exploiting it. Wagner with it. Hachimura covering. Daniels. Off the left rim and out. Well, they shouldn't be giving that shot to anyone, but they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break for the oh, defense. Bamba. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. Yeah, pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. Three seconds separating the shot and game clocks. That one falls. Hachimura's gotten his first bucket of the night. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Rose outside. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. You know, it's great to see Rose out there. After all those injuries, Derek still has a passion for the game. That one falls for Rose. Second free throw, no good. And so it's the Atlanta Hawks sitting on a comfortable 21-point lead at the end of the quarter. And their three-point shooting, a big reason they have a sizable lead. And more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way right after this. There may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Here's Black on the court for the Hawks. Rui Hachimura is out there with Mobamba. Then there's DeJounte Murray, and it's Hunter in at the five, roaming the paint. Here's Daniels. And the upcoming schedule for the Atlanta Hawks. On Sunday, the San Antonio Spurs come to town, kicking off a homestand for them. And then Monday, they'll take on Kyrie Irving and the Dallas Mavericks. It's no secret around the league that this team loves playing in their own building. They're loaded with home games over the next stretch, so this is a chance to win some ball games. He's perfect from the line this time. The Hawks shooting 65%. Their offense has been on another level. Shots good by Black. This dude is capable of some memorable moves. He's showing off and having a little fun. Here's Joe. Pass to Hartenstein to the inside. Here's Daniels. And that one drops for him. Daniels has got four points now in the quarter. That's what you call playing big. He just stays committed to the attack mode. Tip of the cap there. I mean, that defense was good. The finish was better. Here's Joe. Pass to Daniels. Driving to the basket. Hey, shooting the ball well. He's five for nine in the game. And he's not the reason that they're trailing in this one. He's been on his game. It's a few of the other guys that need to pick it up. 
filthy. I mean, just the arena is stunned. He's got a deep bag of tricks to dig into. His first shot coming late. Joe misses. He's got so many ways to score in the post. Just nifty uses fakes. You have to have a body on him every time he's down there. Now here's Wagner. And down it goes. Dumped it through off a beautiful setup. I just love the strong finish there inside. Man, he's got that dunker's mindset, doesn't he? Always ready to pounce. They've been pretty lax with their perimeter defense, giving up a lot of three-pointers. Here's Daniels. There's the drive. Rebound Atlanta. Bamba's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Hachimura. He got a piece of it. Ooh, powered down with both hands. The Magic have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. Here's Joe. Blocked! Nice timing on that contested shot. Just reading it well was Rui. And here's Hunter for three. The rebound by Bogdanovich. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. This one for three. Hunter with the rebound. Hunter's got a rebound number 12 here already in the game. Over to the wing. Now Bamba. Hachimura outside. Murray finds Hachimura. And the three off target. Kind of rare to see any player have this much of a struggle from the field. To still have the lead shows how resilient they are as a complete team. And he makes it. Daniels has got 10 points here in the second half. This is not a player who likes to be trailing in any game. That lights a fire. Hunter. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. This guy is putting on a clinic for the people. Man, I'm shocked. I can't believe he pulled that off in a real game. Here's Daniels. The rebound by the Hawks. Murray inside. Bogdanovich on him. And it's Murray finishing it off. Great concentration from DeJounte that time, just playing right through the contact. Here's Wagner. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Now that's how you capitalize on a screen. Yeah, good positioning, too. Gave him a clear path to the hoop. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. Here's Hachimura. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, oh, my. Throw that one up top. Oh, what a play. Goodbye. Hachimura, that, please. How about Rui up there on the rim? Here's Daniels. Wagner, left side. Over Hunter. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Hawks. Well, you have to like what you've seen from them defensively. They've done well contesting shots and have managed to come away with some blocks, too. Well, if we add another thing to it, it's about the urgency they've played with. I mean, you look at the eyes of these guys. They're focused, wanting to get up tempo, and that's helped them score on the fast break. Pokashevsky's checked in for Orlando. Hardaway comes in for Joe. From nine feet, it's tipped, and they recover it. Here's Pokashevsky. Plenty of room to knock down that one. And the coaches want him to take that kind of shot. You can see why. Here's Black. So it'll be Man, two free throws. Fouled. He was fouled in the act of shooting. First and in terms of the league as a whole, there have been some of the highest scoring seasons in history the last few years, Grant. Well, B.A., it's all about pace. And across the board, teams are playing much, much faster. Faster than ever. It also seems like defense might be turning into a lost art. So I don't know if it's all for the best. Merrill, he's checked in for Orlando. Here's Daniels, covered by Bamba. Daniels, that one's true. It feels like the other four guys have disappeared at this point. He wants to be the one to get them back. And he goes up strong with a one-handed jam. Now, I know he makes it look easy, but it takes incredible physical tools to pull that off. Athleticism and explosion. The shot won't fall. Hachimura with the defensive effort. Atlanta has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Shots good by Black. Black's got 12 points in just the second half. Not sure which clips they watched at halftime, but he has figured out how to attack the D, and they kept him in check in the first half. He's flipped it. Now here's Wagner. Oh, 
there's a killer two-hand slam. Come on, B.A. He sure can rise. Graham, that's as good as it gets. One of the best in the league. Wow. I'll tell you, such an advantage having a playmaker who can get up to the rim and finish. Now that is what every team wants. Like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. And so here is Orlando. The Hawks getting their last shot to go. Here's Murray. Takes it inside. And it's Murray finishing it off. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. The hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. And the gamble I paying off. And so it's Atlanta easily grabbing this one. Please Boy, this crowd has to be shocked by the way their team was dismantled. Now, shocked and surprised. It doesn't matter what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to just waltz in and cruise to the type of victory like we saw tonight. And that about wraps it up. Alongside Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson with our entire 2K crew thanking you for watching as we present the New Balance Player of the Game. Yes, and where we get it deep.